Hello and welcome. I'm Jenny Hall. Thank you for joining me today. I was recently sent some product from Arteza Art Supply and I'd like to share two projects today that is created with the Arteza Holographic Glitter. The glitter comes in these convenient little packages and this is not normal glitter. This is holographic glitter. Can you see that holographic shine? And here's another set too. Check it out. I love it. The fun color names of the ones that I'm working on, and first of all, it's called Holographic Chunky Glitter. That's the name of the product from Arteza. We've got Fairy Dust and Moonstone. So this is Fairy Dust. and Moonstone, which I think Moonstone is my favorite. And then I have Mermaid Rain and Electra. This is Electra. It's another one of my favorites. And this is Mermaid Rain. I'm not sure how well you can see the holographic part being on this way for the video, but we're gonna get a better look at it in just a few minutes. So I've decided to use the glitter in two different ways. Because this is a chunky glitter, then I can pick the pieces up, and I'll put some in my hand and show you. I can pick the pieces up and I can place them on a project like as if they were glitter, or as if they were sequins. <laughs> and the sequins are really fun to use in projects but one thing is sometimes those sequins can come loose because most of them are cupped. This my friends stays completely flat which is great for kids projects. For kids projects anytime I use sequins then I found that they want to be able to grab them and pull them right off. Now I have something in my resources that I can glue down and it stays flat and it will stay in place. For example, here is the first card that we're going to create today. And this is created with a stamp set from Hero Arts called Color Layering Whale. And yes, I got this mainly for my oldest son, Trip, who is eight years old and he loves humpback whales. So if you can see the shine just from the reflection, and here's a closer look at how that shine is. So much fun and watch. That sequin glitter's going nowhere. That's a win for this mommy. So let's check out how I used this really, really cool glitter. For our first project, I'm going to use the Electra glitter and I'm going to use Hero Arts Color Layering Whale stamp and die. I've already done this and I've used Dusty Blue and Indigo Ink from Hero Arts. I'm going to create what looks like a bubble, a bubble net or a bubble screen. That's what my son tells me it's called is a, a bubble net and the, using the second generation of ink. This is because I want that glitter to really, really show up. And by stamping the sentiment and the little scuba diver in black, then it's also a nice contrast and offsets to let the sequins really show up well in the project. I'm layering all these things together and then we'll adhere the whale to where I can put the bubbles cascading up towards the surface of the water. All of this is important because my son wants it to look realistic, so I'm trying my best to make it look as if it's a real scene. So I'm using this little Nuvo Pursuit Smooth Precision glue pen to attach all of this glitter and it goes down perfectly, even the tiny bits. 
I really like using this glitter. It's a nice accent. The second way that I'm going to feature the Arteza holographic glitter is as a background accent. So I have this card here and th these are created with some dyes from Altenew called Rose Fleury's 3D dyes. And it's the background that I really want you to look at. And we might not have a, a very good look at it here with this light source, but we'll be able to see it very well when we get to the video demonstration. So what I did was I used this Moonstone glitter. And because the pieces inside each one of the glitter pots is very, it, it ranges from very, very small and fine to nice, big and chunky then when putting down some adhesive, I was able to get a sort of a background holographic effect and it worked out really good. And the thing about this glitter too, see, it's not going anywhere. It's not gonna fall off of this project. And I'll show you exactly how I was able to get that look. For the second project, I'm using the Moonstone Glitter, which is from the second package. I'm applying three strips of one quarter inch double-sided tape to a piece of thick white cardstock. And I'm trimming down the edges, and I've been sure to burnish that tape into the paper very well. I want the adhesive to really, really do its best. So using a piece of printer paper to catch the extra glitter, I'm sprinkling that Moonstone glitter on and then push it in place with a bone folder. Then I'll use the bone folder to kind of run over it and make sure that every possible bit of adhesive is covered. And this is gorgeous glitter. It's so pretty. And the way that it sticks to those adhesive tape lines is that Mostly it's the small pieces, but it's also the big chunky pieces too. And that gives a nice big variety. In fact, there's enough sparkle on this card that I don't need to add any rhinestones or any sequins at all. I'm using four different colors of pink cardstock from Stampin' Up, together with some green old olive from Stampin' Up. And I'm using that same Nouveau pen to adhere everything together. That little glue pen is a wonder. So I'm using these roses because I thought that the pink flowers would be a nice pairing for the pink effects that come out of the holographic glitter. I think that the part that makes it holographic is it's not just one color. It's white, but it also has some very pretty undertones that whatever color you pair it with, it's going to bring that color out. And so it worked really well with the pink. I'm putting all these die cuts together and then I'm going to use a sentiment that is from a different stamp set from Altenew and I think it's Enchanted Iris. And then I'm going to fussy cut around the word to where there's like a black shadow and just place it in amongst everything. So you can really see how well that background shows up. It is just stunning. It's not overwhelming. It's just right. <clears throat> and I really like it too. Now here's an example of how I used the glitter on a piece of just white cardstock and then I placed it also on some die cuts. So there's lots of ways that I can see using this glitter in my craft projects. Now that you've had a look at what these little pots of glitter can do, what do you think? Do you like them as much as I do? I can see that just like embossing powder or other little pots of glitter, a little bit will go a very long way and I'll have these in my resources for quite some time. I really like this blue it echoed the colors in the whale card so easily. And because it's holographic, 
it kind of changed color. So it could go for a light blue or a dark blue and still look like it goes together. And how about that rose flurries? Oh my goodness. That was for my Easter and uh, you know, mommy gets an Easter basket too. <laughs> and I really am adoring those dyes. I will have a video coming up next week that features exactly um, like a closer look at those Rose Flurries 3D dies from Altenu. I'll also share exactly how I divided them up and stored them and give some tips and tricks on how to use them. So if you're looking for a link to purchase, then go down in the video description and you'll find it there. Don't forget the free PDF tutorials over at my blog at JennyHallDesign.com. I hope that you have enjoyed these two projects today and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye. Hi, my name is Trip. Thanks for watching the video. See you next time.